Farley Drug. Hi, my name is Monica and I'm a pharmacist who works with Marley Drug Pharmacy. Today we're going to cover folic acid, also known as vitamin B9, which is available as a prescription and over-the-counter. Folic acid was approved by the FDA as a dietary supplement in 1996 and has been on the market for over two decades. Folic acid is a vital vitamin that offers numerous advantages to our body. While many people can obtain an appropriate amount through their dietary intake, certain people may need additional folic acid supplementation. Now let's discuss the different conditions folic acid can be used for. Folic acid is primarily used to prevent and treat anemias caused by low blood levels of folic acid known as folate deficiency or inadequate dietary intake, both in children and adults. Folic acid is a synthetic form of vitamin B9 often used in supplements and fortified foods while folate refers to the naturally occurring form found in foods such as vegetables, fruits, and beans. Folate deficiency can lead to various health issues, including anemia. It is also important for pregnant women as it helps prevent neural tube defects during pregnancy, ensuring the healthy development of the baby's brain and spinal cord. Keep in mind that if a woman has enough folic acid in her body before and during pregnancy, it can help prevent major birth defects in the fetus. Women generally need 400 micrograms of folic acid every day. Folic acid is available as a one milligram tablet and can be taken by mouth once a day with or without food and can be taken at any time of the day. Folic acid supplementation generally has minimal to no side effects and side effects are typically related to taking higher doses. However, some side effects that you may experience could include nausea, loss of appetite, bloating, gas, sleep disturbances. Serious side effects are rare, but may include allergic reactions such as rash, itching, or swelling, especially of the face, tongue, or throat, difficulty breathing, severe dizziness, chest pain, rapid heartbeat, confusion, signs of infection, including fever or sore throat. If you are experiencing any of these serious side effects, immediately call your doctor and stop taking folic acid. Keep in mind that folic acid may interact with certain medications or supplements. Always inform your doctor and pharmacist about any other medications or supplements, including prescribed and over-the-counter vitamins and dietary or herbal supplements that you are currently taking. Some medications that may increase your risk of certain side effects when taken along with folic acid include phenytoin. So to briefly summarize what we discussed today, Folic acid, also referred to as vitamin B9, is obtainable both as a prescription and over-the-counter medication. Approved by the FDA in 1996, folic acid has been a staple dietary supplement for over 20 years. It is considered an essential vitamin offering numerous benefits to the body, although some may require additional supplementation beyond what they get from their diets. Folic acid is commonly used to prevent and treat anemias caused by low blood levels of folic acid known as folate deficiency or insufficient dietary intake. Folic acid is important for pregnant women as it helps in preventing neural tube defects, ensuring proper development of the fetus's brain and spinal cord. Administered typically as a one milligram tablet taken by mouth once a day, folic acid is generally well tolerated with minimal side effects such as nausea or loss of appetite. Although serious side effects are rare, they may include allergic reactions, difficulty breathing, chest pain, rapid heartbeat, confusion, and signs of an infection. If you do happen to experience serious side effects, immediate medical attention is important and discontinuation of folic acid is advised. It is important to inform your doctor about all medications and supplements being taken as interactions may occur. You can read more about folate deficiency on our website. Check those articles out in the links below. If you have any questions about folic acid, be sure to ask your doctor or leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.